Billy D. Williams, born William December Williams Jr., is an American actor, artist, and singer, known for his smooth charm and distinctive voice. He was born on April 6, 1937, in New York City, New York, USA. Williams was born to William December Williams Sr., an African-American caretaker, and Loretta Ann, a West Indian-born elevator operator. He grew up in Harlem, New York City, in a working-class family. Williams showed an interest in the arts from a young age. He attended the Fiorella H. La Guardia High School of Music and Arts and Performing Arts in Manhattan, where he studied classical music and art. His early exposure to the arts laid the foundation for his later career in entertainment. Williams began his acting career in the late 1950s, appearing in Broadway productions such as The Cool World and A Taste of Honey. He also landed roles in television shows and films during this time, gradually gaining recognition for his talent and versatility as an actor. In the 1970s, Williams gained widespread acclaim for his roles in film such as Lady Sings the Blues, 1972, where he starred opposite Diana Ross, and Mahogany, 1975. He became known for his suave demeanor and romantic leading man roles. One of Williams' most iconic roles came in 1980, when he portrayed the smooth-talking smuggler Lando Calrissian in Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. He reprised the role in Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi, 1983, and later returned to the character in the sequel trilogy with Star Wars Episode IX, The Rise of Skywalker, 2019. Williams' ability to excel in a variety of genres, including drama, romance, and science fiction, contributed to his broad appeal as an actor. His versatility allowed him to take on diverse roles and attract audiences across different demographics. Beyond his film roles, Williams became a pop culture icon known for his smooth persona, distinctive voice, and iconic portrayal of Lando Calrissian. His image and catchphrases from the Star Wars franchise became ingrained in popular culture, ensuring his enduring legacy as an entertainment icon. Throughout his career, Williams continued to work in film, television, and theater, earning critical acclaim and accolades for his performances. He also ventured into other artistic pursuits, such as painting, showcasing his multifaceted talented. Billy D. Williams, a versatile actor, has had a significant career in film, portraying various characters across different genres. Here are some notable roles he's played in movies. Mahogany, 1975. Williams starred alongside Diana Ross once again in this romantic drama. He played Brian, a fashion photographer who becomes involved with Tracy Chambers Ross, a young woman striving for success in the fashion industry. The film further highlighted Williams' charm and leading man appeal. Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back, 1980 and Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi, 1983. Williams is perhaps best known for his portrayal of Lando Calrissian, a former smuggler and friend of Han Solo. In these iconic sci-fi films from the Star Wars saga, his portrayal of Lando with his suave demeanor and moral ambiguity made him a fan favorite in the franchise. Batman, 1989. Williams played Harvey Dent, the district attorney of Gotham City, who eventually becomes the villain Two-Face in Tim Burton's adaptation of the DC comic superhero. While Dent's transformation into Two-Face occurs in a sequel, Williams' portrayal set the stage for the character's future development. Nighthawks, 1981. In this action thriller, Williams starred alongside Sylvester Stallone and Rutgar Haya, a terrorist named Wolfgar, who becomes the target of a counterterrorism task force led by Stallone's character. Billy D. Williams' talent and charm extend beyond the movie theater 
and onto the small screen. Throughout his career, he has made notable appearances in various television shows, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. One of Williams' notable TV roles was in the popular soap opera Dynasty. He portrayed Brady Lloyd, a love interest, Crystal Carrington, played by Linda Evans. Williams' portrayal of the charismatic and wealthy Brady Lloyd showcased his acting range and captivated audiences. Williams also guest starred in the iconic shows such as The Jeffersons and 227. His natural charisma and acting prowess shine through in these appearances, further solidifying his status as a talented and sought-after actor. Williams' memorable television appearances have made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. His magnetic presence on the small screen continues to captivate audiences to this day. He has amassed a net worth of $9 million through his successful career in the entertainment industry. Williams is best known for his memorable roles in movies like The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and Batman. Williams' net worth is a testament to his versatility and contributions to the arts. In addition to his acting career, he has pursued other artistic endeavors such as painting and music. His artwork has been exhibited in galleries around the world, showcasing his talent and creativity. Throughout his career, Williams has received well-deserved recognition for his work. His contributions to the entertainment industry have earned him awards and accolades, including NAACP, Image Awards, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Williams' dedication to his craft and his ability to excel in various fields of art have solidified his status as a multi-talented icon. Billy Dee Williams, in addition to his successful acting and artistic career, has also made notable investments in real estate. One of his most significant properties was located in the prestigious area of Beverly Hills. This property, which he owned for several years, was later listed for sales in 2011. Billy Lee Williams, former Beverly Hills home, lists for $13 million, situated on Loma Vista Drive in the exclusive Trustdale Estates neighborhood. The six-bedroom, six-bath home was the actor's longtime residence before he sold it in 2012 to artist provocateur Michael McNelly for $2.79 million. The Beverly Hills property owned by Billy D. Williams offered luxurious amenities and a prime location. It featured a spacious and beautifully designed mansion with multiple bedrooms, expansive living areas, and stunning outdoor spaces. The property also boosted a pool, well-manicured gardens, and breathtaking views. After being listed for sale, the property garnered attention from potential buyers who were drawn to its allure and elegance. Ultimately, the property was sold for $2.8 million, showcasing the value and desirability of Billy D. Williams' real estate investments. Williams' ventures in the real estate market have contributed to his overall net worth and have served as a testament to his business acumen and ability to make strategic investments outside of his artistic pursuits. Billy D. Williams currently resides in a $10 million mansion. Nestled within the exclusive enclave of Bel Air, Billy D. Williams resides in a palatial $10 million mansion that epitomizes luxury and elegance, with its sweeping panoramic views of the Los Angeles skyline and meticulously landscaped grounds the estate is a sanctuary of opulence and refinement. From the moment one enters the grand foyer, adorned with intricate marble flooring and ornate chandeliers, it becomes evident that every detail of this residence has been meticulously curated to reflect William's impeccable taste and sophistication. Whether lounging in the sprawling entertainment spaces, unwinding by the infinity pool, or retreating to the state-of-the-arts home theater, Williams enjoys the epitome of comfort and extravagance in this stunning abode. 
This magnificent mansion serves not only as a private haven for the acclaimed actor, but also as a testament to his enduring success and status as a Hollywood legend. Now we will take a closer look at Billy Dee Williams' car collection. While Billy Dee Williams has a lot of cars in his luxury car collection, we will focus only on the most expensive cars in his garage. 2017 Mercedes AMG C43 The 2017 Mercedes AMG C43 is Williams' daily driver, and he gives it a perfect 10. He has just one small complaint. The only thing, it's a two-door and there's not a lot of space in the back. That's the only thing, but I expected that, he says. With 402 horsepower on its spec sheet, you might assume that the 2024 Mercedes AMG C43 was powered by a twin-turbo V6. An electric motor spins up the turbocharger to help reduce lag and a 48-volt hybrid system gives it an extra boost too. It doesn't have the same punch as the even more powerful C63 model, but the C43 represents a big step up in the performance from the standard Benz branded C300 sedan. Dodge Challenger Billy D. Williams' Dodge Challenger boosts custom performance and perfection. At a modest price of $82,000, its convertible roof and V8 engine combine power and comfort, making this ride a marvel. Leather, suede seating, and impeccable comfort adjustments cater to the big man's needs. From roaring engine to cozy interior, this custom-made vehicle epitomizes the fusion of style and substance. Ferrari F355 Spider Billy D. Williams' extended Ferrari F355 Spider caters to his frame. With modifications to accommodate his 320-pound physique, the sports car is an $85,000 engineering marvel. The roof is removed to make space for his head, a fitting adjustment for a man of his stature. The customized version to ensure his comfort, combining the thrill of a sports car that deserved luxury. 1984 Jeep Grand Wagoner Billy Dee Williams finally got around to updating his 1984 Jeep Grand Wagoner recently because it turns out Lando Calrissian needs his GPS. That was one of the main reasons Williams wanted to redo his now classic Jeep. The Wagoner back in those days, was pretty popular, and it was just very well built, and it rides beautifully, he tells Motor Trend. I've taken it on long trips, and it's a great ride. Like from Los Angeles to San Diego, it's a really nice drive. I don't travel that much in cars anymore. I don't like the freeway, to tell you the truth. Now that his Jeep has been refreshed, he might not mind driving it to San Diego. The engine was still pretty good. It's only got 92,000 miles on it. I had it repainted. I had the interior done. I added some new technology into it, like GPS and a satellite radio, he says. I just wanted to update it with new technology. First of all, I love GPS. I can't live without GPS because I have no sense of direction whatsoever. But I also put a sunroof into it too. In a recent interview, Veteran actor Billy Dee Williams, renowned for his memorable roles in classics like Lady Sings the Blues, Mahogany, and the Star Wars franchise, opened up about rumors surrounding his personal life. With his candid memoir titled What Have We Here? The 86-year-old icon shed light on a lesser-known chapter of his experiences, particularly within the LGBTQIA community. Williams, with nearly eight decades in the entertainment industry, revealed surprising details about his past involvement with the LGBTQIA community, notably sharing memories of attending secret gay parties in the Metropolitan Oprah's basement. For Williams, these experiences were simply part of his life, never seen as unusual or controversial. It all seemed very normal to me. 
I was around it all my life, so I never really gave it much thought, he remarked. Despite facing speculations and derogatory remarks, Williams remained resilient, refusing to be defined by society labels. Proudly identifying, primarily as a man, he clarified that he, his comment weren't about sexuality, but rather about understanding and embracing both masculine and feminine qualities within oneself. He cited psychologist Carl G. Jung's concept of anima annulus to explain his intent, emphasizing the importance of exploring one's whole self. While some misconstrued his words as an official coming out, Williams clarified that he was advocating for self-expression and a deeper understanding of one's identity. The LGBTQ advocacy group Human Rights Campaign commended Williams for embracing his truth as a gender-fluid individual, highlighting his role as an advocate for self-expression. Throughout his career, Williams has continued to inspire audiences with his talent and authenticity. Despite the misconceptions surrounding his personal life, he remains an iconic figure in the entertainment industry and a symbol of strength and authenticity. Through his memoir, William challenges stereotypes and encourages others to embrace their unique selves, exemplifying the power of personal authenticity in creating a more inclusive society. As fans eagerly await his upcoming projects, William's courage in addressing these rumors serves as a reminder of the importance of embracing one's truth.